Because I'm a Nigerian living in Ghana, 70% of Ghanaians think that Nigeria does not even have anything called electricity. You get anything to eat because Ghana is fucking expensive. Hello, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the channel. You know this, of course, challenge that is trending on TikTok. And everyone has been doing this. Um, Ghanaians have been doing this. Nigerians have been doing this. But the one that actually caught my attention was Nigerians living in Ghana. And some of the things that they said, I don't really agree with them 100%. But I think most of the things that they said in this video, I don't know what you would think about it. So let me drop these videos for you to watch. And there is a lady to share her cultural shocks, who is also a Nigerian. She's an actress. So just watch these videos and let's come back and talk about it. I'm a Nigerian living in Ghana. If you stand up for your rights against any Ghana police, they will ask you, can you do this in your country? Of course, I'm a Nigerian living in Ghana. If you ask any Ghana get out, the next day they will tell you their mom is sick or their phone is bad. Either way, they need some coin to fix their phone. Of course, I'm a Nigerian living in Ghana. Most Ghanaians see Nigerian boys here as Yahoo boys, Sakawa boys, or we are too loud. Of course, I'm a Nigerian living in Ghana. 70% of Ghanaians think that Nigeria does not even have anything called electricity. They don't know that we they give them gas. In fact, they give us $160 million. Of course, I'm a Nigerian living in Ghana. Once you go to the market to buy any items, once they hear your accents, they'll give you a different price totally. I don't know more than that. Of course, I'm a Nigerian living in Ghana. The Ghanaians here, they call us Omo, eh? Anago, or Alata. Omo Afana. Of course, I'm a Nigerian living in Ghana. The majority of Ghanaians think that Nigerians are the cause of inflated prices of their goods in this country, especially when it comes to house rates. Of course, I'm a Nigerian living in Ghana. All Ghanaians think that their jollof is better than Nigerian jollof. But you know us now, we know they agree for anybody. <laughs> But they be our younger sister. She will pay them for lunch. I'm a Nigerian girl that owns a business in Ghana. Of course, I have to wake up early by this time to go to work. I'm a Nigerian girl living in Ghana. Of course, when they see me driving a luxurious car, they think my father is a senator in Nigeria. <laughs> I'm a Nigerian girl living in Ghana. Of course, if I don't, if I don't work. I wouldn't get anything to eat because Ghana is fucking expensive. I'm a Nigerian girl living in Ghana. Of course, when I talk, people know I'm Nigerian. I'm a Nigerian girl living in Ghana. Of course, I will always say, Charlie, what's up? I'm a Nigerian girl living in Ghana. Of course, when I see a Ghana, I'll say, Charlie, what's up? Guy, waiting to go on. <laughs> I'm a Nigerian girl living in Ghana. Of course, it's so expensive to drive and live in Ghana. Like, you have to be strong. I'm a Nigerian girl living in Ghana. Of course, I have to see for them to wash my car. And there's not even an eatery here for me to go get something to eat because I'm super hungry this morning. I'm a Nigerian living in Ghana, of course. We they eat our breakfast around 3 p.m. Yes. I'm a Nigerian living in Ghana. If you don't get anywhere to go, you bath once a day. That is, if you go even bath. I'm a Nigerian living in Ghana. Even if there's no water in our fridge, fridge they own because too much of lights. I'm a Nigerian living in Ghana. If you don't have anything to do outside, you do what? You stay inside and mind your business. I'm in Nigeria living in Ghana. They say work no day Ghana, but I'm a graphic designer, a video editor, and I do it right from my house. I'm in Nigeria living in Ghana. You suppose no say every Nigeria, whether you be outside Ibo Yoruba, all of na na brothers na be. I'm in Nigeria living in Ghana. Of course, you have to learn how to beg before you greet a Ghanaian. Be partial. Good morning. I'm in Nigeria living in Ghana. Of course, you know that the way before you buy anything. You have to convert the rate of cities to Naira. <laughs> that one very important. So the first one is Trotro. Yes. Trotro is the boss in Nigeria. So you see in Ghana, the fact that if it's a four-seater, if the 
seat is meant to contain four people. Yeah, it is four people that will sit on it. Yeah, but in Nigeria, if the seat is supposed to be for four people, six people will sit on it. <laughs> The bus conductor will not let four people sit there because, I mean, if you can shift and make space for one extra person or two people, you have to shift so they can get extra money. Do you get it? Yeah, so that's, that was one culture shock. I was like, eh? Yeah, so that was one culture shock. So in the draw draw, if, 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 if the seat is meant for four people, it will be four people that will sit there, not six, as opposed to Nigeria and then that they'll put six people on one four people seat, that kind of thing. Yeah. So it was it was very funny to me. I loved it. Okay, so another culture shock is Ghanaians love to say please a lot. So for me it was easy to adapt to that. It was me easy for me to just integrate into doing that because I know how to say thank you and please a lot. So it was easy for me to just start doing that. I'm not saying Nigerians don't say please or thank you. They do. But for Ghanaians, they say please for practically everything. Oh, me pao chode bi, me pao chobra. Oh, please, no, I don't I don't know where it is. Oh, please this, oh, please that. So yeah, Ghanaians say please a lot. So yeah, that was one culture, another culture shock. The third culture shock for a Nigerian living in Ghana is that Ghanaians love raw, fresh raw tomatoes. They use it to eat practically. Like, okay, I don't want to say everything because no, there's light soup, there's palm nut soup and stuff, but... They use raw tomatoes to eat fried yam, to eat kenke, to eat rice, to eat eba. And the thing is, yeah, they're eba, they put salt. Well, the one I ate to, the one I was made, <laughs> they use, they put salt in there. Gary to make eba. So, yeah, they use fresh pepper. And I love it. I love fresh pepper and fried yam. Oh, with fish. I love it so much. To the extent that when I get home, I make it myself. Yeah, so fresh pepper. In fact, if you scroll down a bit into some of my videos you see where i did a video of me eating eba with fresh pepper yeah so yeah they use it to eat fresh pepper to eat that and i love that i love i love fresh pepper and stuff you see in nigeria it's not that we don't it's not that Ghanaians don't have stew like they don't boil pepper to make stew no they do but i'm just saying like they eat this they have dishes that they use to eat um fresh tomatoes fresh raw tomatoes and stuff so yeah like in nigeria i know there's there's a there's yam and palm oil Another dish I love with salt. Ha, ah, amagi. God. Anyway, so yeah. So those are the three culture shocks for a Nigerian in Ghana. You can put in the comment section if you have any other ones or if you have contrary opinions. Politely, please, guys. Polite. We're going to do a part two of culture shock for a Ghanaian living in Nigeria. So follow and like and share. Bye. So for instance, this guy that was talking about nigerians giving us gas and we even owe them 160 million dollars this particular thing or this particular matter is a very long time thing and that money i lent has been paid that money has been paid already so i don't know where this narrative comes from and till today nigerians are holding on to this and they are like Ghana owes them, Ghana owes them, Ghana owes them, Ghana owes them. But hey, tell me what you think about what all these Nigerians said in this video. And I don't know. I don't know what I should say. So drop whatever you think in the comment section and let's discuss. And let's talk about it. Please don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and share the video for me. Thank you.